Good evening. On behalf of the millions of supporters and members of the NAACP, I want to thank every artist, every in entertainer for doing what is so necessary at this moment in American history. This being <laughs> Inauguration Day, many may be tempted to slip into a state of clinical depression. <laughs> but may I remind you that the word inauguration is derived from the word consecration. And we, this day, with song and dance and performance, are consecrating this day with hope. There are those who may feel as though they're living the words of the hymn of the NAACP, a stanza of which says, born in the days when hope unborn had died. And we are living in a day where Psalm and Washington have engaged in violence and disruption, invoking the words of Dr. King, who said that violence is the language of the unheard. But may I remind you, that the lingua franca, the common language of those who know they can be heard, is hope. And so these artists stand in a moral tradition of witnesses of hope who witness to injustice and witness to hope in Selma and in Birmingham, but also Flint and Ferguson and New York and Washington, D.C. And so we're reminded of these words, which represent the hymn of the NAACP. The words would be these. Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring. Ring with the harmonies of liberty. Let our rejoicing rise high as the listening skies. Let it resound loud as the rolling sea. Sing a song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the rising sun of our new day begun. Let us march on, let us march on, let us march on till victory is won. <laughs> 